Hi, welcome back. And we're trying some more examples of arc lengths and um, other problems involving parametric equations. So we have here the length of a curve given by x of t is cosine squared t and y of t is sine squared t as t goes from 0 to pi over 2. So remember our arc length formula is x prime squared plus y prime squared. Take the square root of that and integrate it. So let's calculate x prime is, well, x is cosine squared t. So that would be 2 times cosine t times negative sine t using the chain rule there. The negative sine comes from the derivative of cosine. y prime of t is 2 times sine t times the derivative of sine, which is cosine t. So if we square each one of those, x prime of t squared is 4 cosine squared t sine squared t. And y prime of t squared is 4 sine squared t cosine squared t. And if we add those up, x prime squared plus y prime squared. Well, those are the same thing. So we just get the square root of 8 sine squared t cosine squared t. And the square root of 8 is the same as two square roots of 2. And the square root of sine squared and cosine squared, since sine and cosine are positive when t is between 0 and pi over 2, this is just sine of t times cosine of t. And so that's what we want to integrate. The integral from t equals 0 to t equals pi over 2 of, I'll write the 2 square root of 2 on the outside, sine t cosine t dt. Now this integral isn't too bad. We can use the substitution u equals sine t. And the reason that works so well is because du is then cosine t dt. And so what we have here is the integral of u du. And that gives us u squared over 2. And now I'll convert things back into t. So this is 2 square roots of 2 times sine squared of t over 2 evaluated from t equals 0 to t equals pi over 2. And those 2's cancel each other. So we get the square root of 2 times the sine of pi over 2 squared. Well, that's just 1 minus the sine of 0 squared, which is 0. So our arc length is just square root of 2. So again there, the calculus worked nicely. What we did was we, we found x prime and y prime. We plugged them into this Pythagorean formula. And then we integrated to get the answer. There's actually another way to see how this problem works. We can see through this problem geometrically. Um, if we actually try to graph the path that these equations are describing, um, notice that cosine squared t plus sine squared t is equal to 1. And so cosine squared t is x, sine squared t is y. So this path is actually taking place on the line y plus x equals 1. So there's that line. And if you plug in t equals 0, then x is 1 and y is 0. So there's t equals 0 at the point 1, 0. If you plug in t equals pi over 2, then y is 1 and x is 0. So there's t equals pi over 2 at the point 0, 1. And so what this path is really doing is just following a straight line from 1, 0 to 0, 1. And of course, the length of that line is the square root of 2. So that's kind of a geometric check on the calculus we just did.